Good morning guys, what's up? This is Weston with Custom Landscaping. We are on a brand new project. So we got uh, kind of what was like a pea gravel walkway, but it all grew up in weeds, lined with these rotting four x four timbers like that. Just kind of a mess. Nothing looks real kempt or clean out here. And the homeowners just want to take this and turn this into an area that they actually want to spend time in. What we're doing is there was a tree here, which was cut out. And then there's going to be a circular patio down here around like basically in this area where this tree was with a seating wall up there it'd be natural stone steps going up into here meeting this th that's all turning to pavers over there where that pea gravel walkway was see how this gazebo has uh, the bottom is all open we're taking the retaining wall and just building it around that to close up that bottom make it look better so we got a beautiful day here we've had an incredibly rainy summer but thankful for this nice weather Reynolds back in the uh, trailer in I'm gonna park the trailer right here and this will be our access for our equipment so catch you around Alrighty fellas, so I gotta get that stump out of here. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this base down here finished. This base is all compacted right up to the level it needs to be. Next, we're gonna build this uh, retaining wall back along this, you can see that bank there, that's that's gonna be, well, I call it a retaining wall. It's actually gonna be like a seating wall, but yeah, this is just gonna be back in the grade there. Got some nice big boulders. That wall, wall is gonna run right into that boulder. That's gonna be like a nice big rustic pillar. Same story over there. That boulder is uh, gonna end the wall over on this side. Next order of business is to get these uh, steps set. This is ready to set the first step. We're gonna bring it in and get it set in. Then we're gonna work our way up the bank, set four more steps, and then we'll be at the height we need to be for our uh, pavers up there at the top. And as life, real life normally has it, see this conduit here? The uh, PA1 call, 811 call uh, utility marker guy. I don't know, something went wrong anyway. He got the wrong line and had it four feet off. So we uh, started digging four feet off the side of his mark and boom hit his line so typical isp internet service provider company it says that they'll be out in like two weeks we can't wait for them so we're just running an empty conduit all the way from up there down in through here We've got it marked down there where the conduit ends down there so they can deal with it when they get here we're going to keep moving on and get this project finished so Randall's digging this uh quarter for this wall it's going to hide the ugly bottom side of the window. i got to get this step set be right back Good morning, fellas. Day three on this project. Yesterday we spent part of the day getting these steps put in over here, as well as getting the footer in for this wall that's gonna hide the bottom of that gazebo. And then we got these two boulders in. We got that boulder there, and we got a boulder right here. So these boulders are gonna be like pillars. They're gonna end, the city wall is gonna run right into that. Check this out. That's some of Reynolds' handiwork right there. That's in a form of art. But anyway, today we're gonna to focus on getting this uh, wall done, get these pavers laid in here, and begin on getting our base in up there at the upper paver area, so be right back. Boom, and just like that, we got everything laid in and time to cut the border in. I gotta do this quick because low up there's got a bunch of burgers going, so it's yeah. got to be quick. <laughs> but today we got the uh, upper paver area done. Uh, that wall's pretty well done, just needs the last course slapped on and cap cut. So a guy can work on that tomorrow morning. Then this right here 
This is where the 10-foot pond is going. The basin will be dug in right again, you know, off the edge of the patio right here. And then we're building our mound up this way so that we can get that waterfall facing the deck and the patio down here. So tomorrow morning we're gonna have to use that dirt that he has over there, build up this mound, get that basin in place, start pounding that pond in. It is day four of this project. And we got the pavers in, we got all the walls in, got a bunch of the boulders set, and we were uh, talking with the homeowner here. And personally, I just, I just don't feel that project is complete until you get some kind of water. Water is what gives these projects life. It's what draws people outside. It's what makes you want to be out here with your cup of coffee in the morning. It's what makes you come out and just forget what time it is in the evening when you relax after work. So, talked with the homeowner, and he actually agreed to uh, have us install a 10-foot pondless right here. It's our Appalachian Run. I'll run up here on the deck and I'll show you what that area looks like. They like the idea, decided they're gonna go up to our landscape center where we have a bunch of these displays installed and looked them over, looked at the ponds, looked at the pondlesses, and in the end they decided the pondless water feature would be well, it's right for them. Then will start to build up the mound. The bottom of the falls is gonna be right there and it's gonna run up that we're about building up a mound. The, the grade naturally goes downhill, but we're building up a mound so that we can get that pond that's facing the patio, facing this deck up here, so that that is gonna be uh, focal and enjoyable from all areas of this outdoor living space. You'll be able to see that falls from the gazebo. You'll be able to see it when you're sitting down there on the fire ring. You'll be able to see it when you're up here on the deck and even inside the house, you know, through this, this glass door and these windows, they'll be able to enjoy that 365 days a year. So that's how we make these uh, outdoor living spaces so immersive is just have design elements like being able to see the pondless from all areas inside the house, from your seating area outside. That's what gives you that enjoyment year round. Can't wait to get this thing in the ground. We'll be working on that all day today. Should have water running by four o'clock this afternoon. All right, hopefully you can hear me. Jason is over there cutting the tap on the wall while we're building this pond, it's, uh, it's kind of loud. But anyway, we got this basin dug in. We're still working on getting this mound built up. The basin is dug in. You can see that deeper section is where the vault goes. That's what's going to house the pump. That deeper section down there is lower than the rest of the basin, so it can use it. So the pump is, you know, the lowest thing in this whole basin, so it can use all of the water. So we got five aqua blocks from that vault that we're going to put in here. Cover that up with six inches of gravel and then go to town building the waterfall. All right, so we got that basin in. You see it right there? It's a big hunk of fabric right now because it's in. We flip that fabric and liner forward. And I'm working in the uh, excavator to uh, find the stream edges and the stream bed now. So once we get that done, we're going to lay the liner in and start setting rock. Okay, so it is, what time is it? Four o'clock. Four o'clock on the nose. what I tell you earlier? Four o'clock when I have water. You better believe it. We got aquatic plants in. Redo and I were pretty much the guys here. Jason was working on those, uh, that wall till later today. Then Jason helped us here about the last hour getting this wrapped together. So two guys, two and a half guys, got this 10 foot pondless in. In, what, we didn't even really get started on this till like nine o'clock. Yeah. So, you ready to do this? Plug it in. Let's plug it in. Turned out awesome. That bottom is awesome. I mean, it's four o'clock, we're gonna bust out of here. Back tomorrow, get this thing planted up. Four guys here today. We got a, the A team getting this tree planted right now. We're gonna plant the rest of this mound up with some shrubbery, and then we're gonna be mulching this, seeding this with grass, cleaning this up. A lot of change gonna happen today. So I'm gonna stick you right here on this fence. guys it is hot we just had a crazy downpour for probably 20 25 minutes just before we were ready to rake this off so we kept on raking it off even through the rain 
finishing off what we can by hand. Reynolds up there mixing up the hydro seed. We're gonna do what we can to get this done. There's the project. Looks amazing. If that weren't rain, could have just been two hours later. Getting her put on, and we got a storm coming. I think we're losing, but I don't care. We're gonna win anyway. We're getting her did. We got it sprayed. It'll probably wash out, but we tried. Time will tell. All right, so this time we're back here with no rain. It is about a month or six weeks later, and uh, grass is coming in nicely. I just did a little adjustment on the waterfall light. He wanted to have it move a little bit so it shines on the uh, waterfall a little bit better. But here it is. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. This is our 10 foot uh, pondless waterfall. I love how it looks, it looks gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna go get you some B roll and uh, show you the final outcome of this project. So what do you think of this thing, Lil? It's just the uh, the eye appeal and uh, the different levels, the three levels. It just makes it look like a resort. Marianne wants me to sell the RV. We'll just vacation here. Marianne has always wanted a waterfall. Then when you mentioned it, and yeah. you regret it? No, no. <laughs>